I'd like to introduce my guest, Peter Vidmar, who is the highest scoring American gymnast in Olympic history. As the USA men's gymnastics team captain at the 1984 Olympic Games, he led his teammates to America's first team gold with their stunning upset over the defending champions, the People's Republic of China. He went on to win the silver medal in the individual all-around competition, the first American to ever win an Olympic all-around medal, and with a perfect score of 10, he captured the gold medal on the pummel horse. Amazing. Today, Peter is a leader in the Olympic movement and is the chairman of the board of USA Gymnastics. Peter has worked for many years as the gymnastics commentator for CBS Sports and ESPN. He also wrote the book, Risk, Originality, and Virtuosity, The Keys to a Perfect Ten, which I own and really enjoyed hearing all his great stories and some experiences from other athletes and entrepreneurs as well. Welcome, Peter. How do you overcome your fears when you're working on a new skill? That's a great question. And, you know, sometimes um, we, we worry about that a lot as young athletes, especially a sport like gymnastics where you look at the skills that we're performing and there's an element of risk involved when you're going upside down and flipping and twisting and uh, and yet there's nothing wrong with fear really because um, I think when an athlete's afraid of something or they have that fear that means that they respect what they're doing and so it's okay to have that fear the question is how do you handle the fear what do you do with the fear uh, sometimes kids don't have fear and then they become reckless because they think that nothing can happen to them and so they take uh, chances when they shouldn't be taking chances but when you have when you have that that uh, well-founded fear of something um, I think it, it shows that you treat that skill with respect and um, what I learned uh, is, to, is to trust my coach and then I realized that and I'll probably go back into this more in, in, in other times and other questions but um, my coach would never ask me to do, to do something or to try something unless deep down inside he knew I could do it. And so I learned to have that level of trust. Um, and so when he asked me to go for that double backflip off the high bar, I went for it because I knew that he knew I could make it. And that's important uh, to have that level of trust with a coach. And so uh, the fear's normal, it happens to everyone. It's just a question of how do you handle it. And uh, I learned in gymnastics, of course, that when the time comes to go for a skill, a new skill, to try it, you don't hold back. You go all out and you give it your all. It's when we hesitate in the middle of a skill or hesitate uh, that we tend to have problems or can get injured or, uh, and things like that. So you have to be very careful. Was there something that you would say to yourself when you felt that fear would come up or some specific routine that you did in your head? You know, I, uh, I, I would certainly review the skill mentally. I, I, I would, in my mind, close my eyes, imagine myself doing it, get the feel for it before I actually attempt it. But when the time comes to go for it, you just kind of buckle down and say, okay, here we go. Um, now, uh, in my sport, of course, we have lots of, uh, of safety measures and safety devices we can take advantage of, whether it's a spotting belt or whether it's the coach that's spotting you. But there's always that moment of truth where you're on your own. And hopefully, you've taken the proper progressions to be able to do this skill on your own. You don't want to go from, you know, uh, step number one to step number nine. You got to make sure you do all the steps in between. And, and and so once those steps have been followed, then you earn the confidence to say, okay, now I'm ready to go for this. I'm ready now because I followed all the steps. And and then you know, hopefully things turn out well, right well. And you you let go and trust your own skills. Yeah. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.